What's the weirdest date you've been on? I'll go first. We were going to see a movie and didn't buy tickets in advance and couldn't get two tickets next to each other so we ended up sitting on opposite sides of the theater and then the movie ended and we were like cool okay bye. Lol how about you? Girl refused to take Uber, made me designated driver, she drank and I didn't. Asked close-ended questions only. She had a problem with eye contact, asked not to be looked at. She insisted on specific restaurant that she did not make reservations for. Long wait. Lackluster but expensive food. Drop her off at home as blizzard starts, car trouble on way home. Can't make it home and stay with sister and boyfriend in his haunted house. So I went to lunch with a guy which was the third time we had gone out. Up until this point there weren't really any red flags. After lunch he was driving me home and I was applying chapstick. The chapstick was supposed to be pink lemonade flavored, but for some reason it smelled and tasted like marijuana despite not having any THC in it. I mentioned it to bring up the conversation of whether or not he smoked. He said no and then delved into this two hour long story about how the last time he smoked he had a with his ex-wife and another woman and the other woman's anatomy freaked him out. I mean was telling me in graphic detail everything that they did and everything about their bodies. Instead of stopping it thereafter I told him that was more information than I wanted. He then told me the entire story of why he divorced his wife. They had all kind of threesomes, and even ran an OnlyFans account together. Apparently, she started cheating on him with all of these guys she met on OnlyFans and he ended up fighting one of them because she lied and said he was stalking her when they were actually dating. My date peed his pants. A grown man peed his pants on our second date because he spent the whole time talking himself out of excusing himself to the restroom for fear of being rude. As if we don't all use the bathroom several times a day. Eventually, it was too much. And he peed himself. And then argued with me the next day when I said I didn't want to see him again. Wild. About a month ago, I went out with a guy who I thought was cool since we had martial arts in common. On the second date, things started to get weird because he kept pretending to punch and kick me in the face. It got annoying fast. Then he kept grabbing my hands and cracking each and every knuckle in my finger, even the fingertip ones ouch. I told him to stop and that it was apparently a deal breaker that I didn't know that I had. We had to stop by my house to get a package off my porch, and while we were there, he told me my dog stunk and sprayed him with Febreze. Needless to say, no third date. He asked if I wanted to go back to his house. Got there. He asked me to paint his kitchen cabinets. I left. Why didn't you just not see the movie? LOL. I, 25F, went on a date with a guy, 24M, who seemed okay just from talking on a dating app for like a week. Once I met him he seemed a lot weirder in person and I was concerned but I still tried to be nice and talk with him. One of the first things he asked me was how I felt about girls selling their, poop, online to guys. I thought this was a joke, so I said something like if that's what she wants to do for money then good for her or whatever lol. He said I'm unusual and refreshing or said he hadn't dated anyone before and he is autistic which I get not understanding social cues but. It got uncomfortable. He started talking about autism and said I seemed on the spectrum too which I'd maybe mildly, it runs in my family. Weird to try and diagnose a stranger though. After that he randomly was asking me if I'd sell my, poop, for dollar which I thought was a joke and I said maybe for a million dollars. He was serious, and asked me seriously if I'd sell him my, poop, to him for two hundred dollars. At this point I'm more than uncomfy and I was like nice to meet you but I'm not interested, I'm gonna go. Then he proceeded to follow me out of the food place saying we should go on a walk together or do something else and I said no. He kept following and asking, I kept saying no. 
I went into the nearby bookstore just to be in a safe public place until he left so I could eventually go to my car without being that he tried calling me and I told him I'm not interested leave me alone. Blocked his phone number. Then he proceeded to call me on 8 other numbers I also had to block. Moral of the story is to never give a guy your real phone number until you know him much better and make sure you're in a safe public place for first dates. It's a long one. This guy picked me up and offered me some, I declined and he admitted that he had already smoked and was were supposed to go to a lake and hang out but we didn't want to pay for parking so we parked what we thought was like a quarter mile was 8 miles. I'm wearing flip flops and a sundress. This nice old couple picks us up before we're a mile in and even offers to drive us back later. Well at the parking lot we took the wrong trail and ended up going to the wrong lake and it was freezing compared. When we walked back the parking lot was empty. So we started walking the 8 miles back and it was starting to get dark. We also realized he locked his phone and keys in the truck and mine died because service was sketchy. We run into this lady who is literally running with wolves. All the wolves are up, like missing a leg or an eye. She starts yelling that they're friendly so we're like petting some random wolves now. Apparently she rehabs wolves and has to take them on a few mile run several times I explain our situation and she offers to let us use her phone and follow her back to her house. She starts running through the woods so I'm chasing after her in my flip flops. We get to her house and one of the wolves just runs off and she's like oh no. The neighbors hate it when this happen. Like I bet lady. She lets us in her house but it's all dark and apparently one of the wolves left a big old pile of in the house which my date steps in barefoot. So now we're outside hosing his foot off when AAA arrives. We get back to the truck and go get Chinese food, go back to his hotel. I regret hooking up with him but I was young. When we were fooling around he no says would you like to play with Caucasaurus? Edit, I forgot, he's not a model or anything but a year later I saw him on the cover of Outside magazine and was like oh my it's Caucasaurus guy. When a coffee date, first date, ended up with him saying I was hoping you would take our relationship more seriously when I asked him to go to an event with me that he wasn't interested in. For me when I went on a date with this Vietnamese girl. She was cute and we connected well on text. When we met up she couldn't speak a wink of English. Like genuinely not a word and I kept trying to talk to her and she was just blanking me and not responding it was so so awkward. I was like bro what do I do? Like she doesn't understand me and I don't understand I then realized on text she was probably using some sort of after we left and I never messaged her again and she never messaged me again. A grown woman in her 30s brought her mother along for the third date despite me telling her not to. Then she wondered why I declined going out to dinner with them after the movie. Being invited to a moving day, helping him to move stuff for his friend who separated. After three hours, sweaty and being rejected after proposing a stop to eat just few minutes from there. To at least have a conversation, they waved this day I saved the WhatsApp conversation, because a lot or people think I'm misunderstanding him, but no, he asked me out. But back then I was naive, today I will not be surprised. M28 and date, F27 matched with a girl on Bumble. We hit it off and go on a first date, went awesome. I was attracted to her personality and sexually. She hits me up for a second date, going out on the town on a Friday. Date went great, we eat, grab drinks, play pool and have an awesome time. We grab Taco Bell on the back to hers, after reading Taco Bell, we decide to have. As soon as we finished, she starts telling me about how her landlord likes to her and she is late on rent and had to go pay him. It's like 2.30 am, she quickly gets dressed and we both leave. She went to his and I went home. Never heard from her again. I was new to a city and I went on a date my first week there just to see what it was like. The city I was living in got very cold and foggy at night so I brought a backpack to hold my jacket. He asked me what I had in my backpack and if I had my laptop or camera with me. 
I'm a photographer, he then asked me how much money those things cost and if I was sure I didn't have them on me. I should have left after this part but I go to dinner and he tells me he is living with his friend who turned out to be an elderly woman he was taking advantage of. At the end of the meal he paid his portion with change, pennies, and didn't tip so I had to leave more for a tip. Then he walked me to my bus stop despite me asking him not to. While I waited for the bus he tried to kiss me and I said no and then he just stood there awkwardly for another 20 positive he wanted to rob me, eyes. I've had mostly good dates, but I do admit that I'm probably someone's worst first date story. Here goes. When I was 21 I matched with a girl on Tinder. We talked for about a week or two and she invited me on a first to a sorority social at a school that was much higher class than the community college I was attending. So, I drove the hour to her city and met up with her at her apartment. Now, I knew she was tall. She said 5 feet 11 inches. No way. She was every bit of 6 feet 3 inches. But no worries. I'm like 6 feet 4 inches so it wasn't a big deal, and wouldn't have been even if I was shorter. So, we started drinking, I met her sir already sisters who were surprisingly very nice, and the night proceeded. At some point I'd had too much to drink and my memory is a bit fuzzy. What I do remember is going back to her apartment and her telling me she was gonna put on her pajamas. I ended up going to the bathroom too and I felt something on my ankle. She had a whole family of foster kittens in her bathroom and I sat down next to them and played with them for a while. She knocked on the door after like 20 minutes and asked if I was good. I said yes, that I was just playing with the cats, and she told me that she was ready for bed whenever I was. I said then I woke up and the apartment was pitch black. I was laying on the floor of her bathroom with a kitten cuddled next to my neck. I got up and used my phone light to try to figure out where to go. All the doors in her apartment were closed and I had no idea which room was hers so I went to the couch, took off my shirt and fell asleep. I woke up at 8 am to three girls staring at me from the dining room table. I hadn't met any of them and I don't think they had any idea what I was doing there. My date was nowhere to be found. I said good morning and they all just stared at me. I got up, put my shirt on, and walked to my car. I texted her and said I had fun and apologized for falling asleep slash leaving so early. She never responded and blocked me on every social media platform we followed each other. We went out to dinner then after he took me back to his place and to my surprise his entire family was there. I'm taking cousins sisters, brothers, parents. They were all about to watch a movie so he thought it would be a good idea if we joined them. It was awkward and so crowded that I had to sit next to his mom and sister on the couch while he sat on a different chair he could find. It didn't help that the family didn't acknowledge me and were only speaking Spanish and I couldn't understand anything they were saying. I got a really unsettling feeling they were judging or talking about me since I wasn't being included at all. Nobody even replied to my hi, and smile. I was really trying. I got up and left a few minutes into the movie. My date followed me and kept trying to kiss me outside when I was leaving. I never texted him back. By the way this was a first date. The one who lit a pack of matches and threw them into the passenger seat after I told her I did not want a second date was probably the strangest. I told a guy I didn't want to go home w him on the first date and he started crying. I just had one this week. She let me know that she spoke limited English, but I wasn't prepared for an evening spent exchanging messages in person using translator apps on our phones. She spoke Portuguese, and I do not. Somehow we still ended up staying up pretty late bar hopping. He made me hold his balls we never edit, so people want context. Smiley face, so I've known the guy for a bit but we had just met in person. He took me out and we went back to his place and he mentioned something about his balls being sweaty and so I joked that I could hold them up and let them cool then he took me up on his offer asked me to actually hold them as it would do him a great solid. 
I was like oh ha ha, okay, me being I expected to end up getting laid and he treated me to dinner so least I could do was cup his balls first. And also thinking this is definitely one way to make an interesting move. And it was different so it appealed to me well I tried to venture elsewhere but he kept smacking my hand away from the and he poked it back to the balls. We sat there watching some random show for 30 minutes with him. Talking about how great a ball holder was and how much money people could make just going to guys houses and just cupping the goods while they binge TV. Eventually I asked so are we gonna or am I just like holding your balls he was like oh I had with someone this morning so I'm kind of not interested. I asked why the I was elbow deep in his pants holding his junk if the date was technically over and he was confused why I was upset I left. But he asked if we could go out more often to which I said maybe. Second date comes, we go to my place only I needed to take care of pets RQ before we went back out and he flopped on the couch. Took my hand, tried bringing it back to the goods. I asked am I gonna get laid this time and he was like no it's summer and they're hot. I told him to lose my met him in person two times and now he's known by my mom as the balls guy.